this video, I thought we would look at some kind of random exponential applications and make sure that you can put together everything you know to create models, find growth rates, and answer questions. Let's dive right in. We'll start with a problem about Amazon. The global Amazon workforce was approximately 14,900 in 2007 and has been growing at a continuous rate of 34.6%. We want to predict the year that Amazon has 1 million workers. Now with all of these problems, it's never a bad idea to start by declaring some variables. It appears that we have an initial value in this problem of 14,900 in 2007. We also have a continuous growth rate, which tells us we have an exponential function that's following continuous growth. And then we have a question, which we'll answer after we find a model. Let's start by writing out our variables. I'm going to let t be the number of years since 2007, and I'm going to let w, capital W, be the Amazon workforce, and I'm going to let it be in thousands, just so our numbers don't get too big, which means that this point here is the point 0, 0,14.9, and the year that Amazon has 1 million workers would be something, question mark, comma, 1,000, because that's 1,000 thousand workers. All right, we've got our variables declared. Let's start with a model. So W of T would be the initial value, 14.9 times E to the KT. And we actually do know K. We have a continuous growth rate of 34.6. So let me actually just put that in here. It's going to be E to the 0 0.34. 6t. So we've got a model. Now we just need to predict the year that Amazon has 1 million workers. So that's the 1,000,000. ,000. So that's what we're going to put in for W. 1,000 equals 14.9 e to the 0.346t. We want to solve that for t, and t is currently sitting in the exponent of an exponential. And we've learned that we need to isolate that exponential part first before we solve. Move this up a little bit. So to isolate that e to the 0.346t, I'm going to divide both sides by 14.9. So dividing on the left by 14.9 gives us 1,000 over 14.9. Dividing on the right by 14.9 will reduce the 14.9s to be 1. And so now we have 1,000 over 14.9, which is 67. 0.1141, and that's equal to e to the 0.346t. Well, now we have that exponential part isolated, and so we can go ahead and take a natural log on both sides, because my base is e, and the inverse of that is natural log. So I'm going to take a natural log, left paren, right paren on the left, and a natural log, left paren, right paren on the right. And I'm going to drop in my equation from the previous line, so that's 67.1141 inside the natural log on the left, and on the right it'll be equal to natural log of e to the 0.346t. On the left I just have the natural log of 67.1141, and on the right the natural log and the e are inverses, so those will drop out leaving us with 0.346t. And now I need to solve for that t, so I'm going to divide both sides by 0 0.346. So divide by 0 0.346 on the left, and we'll divide by 0 0.346 on the right. On the right, the 0.346 is reduced to make 1. And on the left, we need to simply do a little calculation, taking natural log of 67.1141 divided by 0.346 will give us 12.157 for our value of t. And that's 12.157 years after 2007. So if we take 2007 plus 12.157, we will get something in the year 2019, just a little ways into 2019. So to answer our question, in the year 2019, Amazon will have a global workforce of 1 million. Now, certainly we could also check this by putting in the equations into Desmos. I would take this equation right here, W of t equals 14.9 e to the 0.346t, and then also graph y equals 1,000 
to see where the number of workers equals 1,000 and look at the intersection points for those two and make sure that it makes sense. Make sure that you get 12.157. Let's look at the next problem. In 2015, Tractica had $2.6 billion in revenue from sales of agricultural robots, and this revenue has been growing at 45% per year. It's a pretty healthy growth rate. Assuming there are no significant changes to the market, let's predict the revenue from sales of agricultural robots in 2025. So it looks like we have an initial value here. In 2015, Tractica had $2.6 billion in revenue. There's our initial value in our initial year. We also have a growth rate, 45% per year. And notice we have nothing in here about the model being continuous. So let's use a discrete model. And then we'll answer the questions after we have our model built. Let's start by declaring some variables. So let's let t be the number of years since 2015. And let's let capital R be the revenue in billions from sales of agricultural robots. Okay, we also know that the R value, the lowercase r value is 0.45. So the growth factor B would be one plus R, which is 1.45. Our model would then be capital R of T equals the initial value, which was 2.6 times left paren 1.45 right paren to the T. So there's our model. So we know changes to the market. We want to predict the revenue from sales of agricultural robots in 2025. That's 10 years later. So we want to calculate R of 10. So that'd be 2.6 times 1.45 raised to the 10th power, which is 106.82, and that's in billions. So we could say that we predict the revenues from sales of agricultural robots to be 106.82 billion in 2025.